Hold on, I'm just looking down at the resistances. Uh, resistant to shadow and... No, you cannot comprehend! They're highly resistant to shadow, so don't even bother with that. They're moderately resistant to uh, physical damage, so sword or hacksaw, meh. Claws, meh. That doesn't leave me that many options as far as reliable damage. I could put blood spear on. I haven't used blood spear in forever. It's it's too low level to be useful. So I think just my ultimate and my shotgun and my hacksaw probably. Okay, that's all my shotgun ammo. Um, pistol time. I have tons of pistol ammo. And thine shall be a fresh I shall tear thee apart and spill my blood to the pit. Foolish Echon! is now mine. Return to your office. <laughs> Slow as a snail! Then shall snap again as brittle bones do more! <laughs> I shall crush you. Down, stay down. Ah. Is this going to be a dead or more like a they escape kind of thing? No, they're actually dead? Damn, Jonathan. I have to say, that was seemed really unwise, Jonathan, but... It was fun. Eh, I'm not convinced they're actually dead. What if they like get up later and escape and you have to fight them again later, you know? So yeah, guns are definitely still something I want to make sure I keep upgraded and on me. Even if I don't use them for general fights, for boss fights, they are everything. Thank you for the common trigger parts. So, Sean, what exactly was this supposed to teach me? Why am I supposed to trust you now? At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Does it matter? It's not like I want to protect the skulls. This is a surprisingly long pathway. I thought I needed to teleport over. It's making me think that this is the right way and the teleport was the bonus way? Oh, this is where I would have teleported to. They both lead to the same area. Okay.
I love the running sounds. Listen to those stones. isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Okay, maybe I judged the skulls too quickly. Some of them certainly seemed rather seem rather mindless and monstrous, but it seems like there's some that are not and are just hiding and forming their own society. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon. But I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No, Harriet is not alive, but you can speak to her. I must warn you, she is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. This is fascinating. I didn't expect this at all. I'm glad that they've turned the skulls into something. Something more, something deeper. Something with more depth than just nasty monsters for you to kill. Only some of them, of course. The ones on the street are still going to try to kill you, mostly, I'm sure, but... It's really interesting. I didn't think there were different types. But it makes sense, right? I mean, there's different types of Ekons and other uh, higher vampires or whatever. It makes sense that there'd be different types of them. Although I don't know if they're actually different breeds or just... Or if it just is a mental thing. Something to do with mental fortitude or, or something. I don't know. <laughs> we're at your mercy. Will you end us? No. Oh, Bridget, allowed me to wander above some years back. It was unpleasant. So, old Bridget 
as well as Sean, seem to be exceptionally present. Like these others, I can't really have conversations with them. They can talk, but... Keep your distance, Echo. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? Your place is not here. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? How is London? I've not seen beyond these walls in such a long time. Your spell is enticing. So sweet of blood. I think this is Harriet Jones's place. So what happened to you? Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. What is happening to them? Your room. The blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Seriously? Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. To be fair, you were a piece of shit. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. My body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Is it painful? Jonathan, did you listen to anything they just said? Why, why is that even an option? Of course it's painful. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. How, how did this happen? I don't understand. They weren't like this in the hospital, right? I'm pretty dang sure they weren't. So they must have been like bitten by a vampire or something? I don't know. I don't understand. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. You'd leave me be. So you desire to stay here? Yes. I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet. Always alone. With my kind because they're also alone, or because Harriet is a skull? If Harriet's a skull, though, how did that happen? Because it wasn't Sean, right? Harriet said Sean wouldn't kill them. I, I, I don't understand. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood, and I wanted revenge, and Sean pulled me from it, brought me here instead, 
But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. Well, that's fine. I, I don't mind if you wanted to kill a shitty landlord. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent, but it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Dr. Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Wow, this is taking some really interesting turns. Okay, I guess I do believe Sean Hampton. Can they continue operating the way they have been, though? I mean, going back there, back to normal. But, I don't know. I was going to say Sean Hampton looks so obviously not normal that people would say, hey, you're a vampire, and they probably get themselves killed. But then again, then again... Okay, the eyes don't normally look like that. I don't know why they did that. But I certainly don't look very human either, and that doesn't seem to bother anybody, so... Who knows? Why do the eyes disappear? Yeah, it's just when I enter photo mode. You can see they're there, and they're gone. And they're there, and they're gone. Anyway, I'm gonna loot you now. Thank you. Supremacy of Ekons. It is no coincidence that Ekons are the most eminent and most numerous of all vampires. Ekons are the true aristocracy of immortals, and if I may add, they're the only ones able to stay at the top of the food chain. Everywhere I traveled, I only met Ekons assuming mortal lives or forming an immortal society. Ekons are the most human, most clever, and most educated of all vampires. Don't get me wrong here, I have nothing against more exotic species like Volkod who share the gift of immortality with us. Most of them can prove useful if properly canalized towards a clear goal, but they lack the most important trait of all, the ability to mingle with mortals without being spotted. Therefore, the Asklon Club should only accept Ekon of the highest lineage as members of its inner circle. Depending on circumstances, Volkods could be accepted as war dogs or hunting hounds, as long as they obey our laws. Luckily enough, these lesser cousins have a natural tendency to submit and obey their masters from the Law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave, Founder. I see. So there's a pretty strong caste system amongst vampires. Oh, hi. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us, spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. I certainly will. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs, we are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Why do you live here, amongst the filth and vermin? Live. Here we hide. 
Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most Skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most Skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. You've got it. I won't. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Shornhampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Egon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. The shortcut, I bet you, that leads to that uh, secret chamber that I saw behind the wardrobe in Sean Hampton's place. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. <laughs> okay, first I've got to see if there's more people to talk with here. New investigation. Talk to the man hiding in the sewers. Hide and seek. What? So I cut out some of my exploring because I wasn't finding any... Oh, it's you. Oh, you must be the person that was teleporting. You're definitely the person that I first saw. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah, so uh, just exploring. Didn't find anything particularly interesting. Just finding some loot and stuff. Nobody to talk with. I went down the stairs over here. And here we are. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon? I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Find out the reason why the terrified young man is hiding in the sewers. Sir, you have no idea what could happen to you if you stay here. Why don't you go home? For fuck's sake! Do I have to punch you in the face to make you disappear? <laughs> Leave me be! It's my duty to insist. Death lurks everywhere. I must ask you to go back home. I'm safe here. Don't you get it? I'm better off risking the flu than catching a bullet. Am I clear enough? I see. Well, since you are obviously hiding from a threat, don't you have a safer place to go? Do you think I'm stupid? The Night Asylum, the Turquoise Turtle, even Miss Gillingham's attic. I tried them all. No, this is my only chance. Level three. They're healthy. Okay, what else is down here? Oh, I thought I'd find a note or something. It's locked, all right. I guess maybe I'll have to find out from talking with someone else. There is a hideout up here, by the way, up on the uh, upper level. Is 
Is that a new weapon? Common mace. It's a two-handed weapon. Does stun damage. Uh, same amount as the common barbed cudgel. Actually, yeah, I think it's just a better variant on the common barbed cudgel. Two-handed, um, exact same stats. Only difference is it does more damage at the same level. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is different. This one's... Uh, this one's weapon ability is parry. So you can parry with it, but it also does stun damage. This one does stun damage, but it says its ability is stun. I don't know what that means. Does that mean in addition to doing stun damage for a normal hit, if you do a special hit, it'll just outright stun them or something? I've never seen that before. I've only had two-handed weapons like these two that do parry. Interesting. But yeah, these are all level two two-handed weapons. And it has the same attack speed and the same stamina cost as all of them, but it does significantly more damage. So it just seems to be a better two-handed weapon than anything I have at the moment. 110, 106 damage, 121. Had about 4,000 XP, so I figured it was time to level up as well. I got the next cartridge bag one, so I got plus 10% more bullet capacity. The next syringe one, so I can have one more syringe. I got the next level of Shadow Mist, so we went from 250 Shadow Damage to 300. And I got the next level of Coagulation. So instead of 2 seconds of control, we have 3 seconds. Okay, a lot of people got better, got a little bit more, more healthy. Uh, what about the other- yeah, what about this place? They should get a lot better, because I cured, like, everybody. That's it? That was, like, 4%. Ah, oh, now they got new problems. Now it's not just fatigue, it's a headache, it's a headache, it's a cold. Three headaches and a cold. I really thought that'd get faster a lot better. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, that's not looking good. West End. Don't know anything about that place. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to explore some more of this skull hideout and then head on to speak with Sean Hampton.